Yes, another open banking company, um, Neonomics. Myself, I've got background from uh, Klarna, the payment company, uh, as well as Collector Bank, um, building up payment solutions. Uh, back in 2016, we started experimenting with uh, OBIE in the UK and realized that with PSD2 coming up, um, not just us, but also all the banks and all the fintechs would need to aggregate uh, APIs. So this would become a huge work. Uh, more than 6,000 banks in Europe, almost 30,000 banks globally. Um, and we thought that if we unify this, make one simple integration point, that would be a valuable approach for our clients. So, so far we have um, more than 1,300 banks in Europe integrated. Uh, we have live connections in all of the Nordics. Um, and we provide payment in, uh, initiation services. We uh, provide account data services. And we also provide uh, products through the marketplace. Um, many of the products that are provided through PSC2 uh, can be just account aggregation services or they can be just initiating the payments. But PSC2 and open banking especially is more than that. Open banking is more than just PSC2. And that is what we aim to provide. Um, so this could be services like savings account investments products. Um, I'll also get back to another example of how we initiated an open banking product. So the marketplace is really where we differentiate ourselves to much of our competitors. Um, we did the first open banking case in, in Norway. Um, we have more than, I mentioned 1,300, but we have 1,300 live, 1,600 also in Sandbox. Um, we, we hold not just the PISP and AISP license, but we also hold a payment institution license, which allows us to perform the actual payments as well. Our coverage so far is uh, more than 85% in the Nordics. Uh, we also have UK and France, where the most of the banks have gone live. Um, we have 70% in the Baltics, and we have 30% in the remaining markets of Europe. The open banking case that we launched in, in Norway uh, was a case where we initiated the opening of deposit accounts. Deposit accounts are not uh, covered by PST2. So this aimed to provide a better customer experience uh, through signing a lease agreement and opening up and transferring the deposit in one uh, single step. So the client here would uh, go on to a portal, sign up to rent an apartment, and through that process, only sign the lease documents. And at the same time, the deposit account was opened straight away. And the client could then choose to transfer the funds directly into the deposit account or finance the deposit through a third party bank. Um, so deposit accounts not being part of the PSD2 offering, uh, we did a direct connection with the core service of the bank. And they are now offering the, the, the accounts as well as the financing of the deposit. Our team consists of more than 40 people uh, uh, located in Oslo. Um, we have 16 different nationalities in our office. Um, and we're looking to expand beyond uh, the Nordics and into Europe. 